Welcome back, everybody. I've got some fun slow cooker recipes to share with y'all today that will be perfect for summer or any time, but especially summer. We'll call this the chicken edition because it just so happens I planned all chicken recipes, but they're all good. All right, y'all, supper tonight is slow cooker, sweet chili chicken and rice bowls. So we sprayed the slow cooker and we're gonna put in three to four pounds of chicken. How much was this pack? This is a 4.8 pound pack, so we won't use quite all of this. Now I am doubling this recipe, but I'll have the original down below for y'all. So I'm just trimming up the chicken and putting it in here. We're gonna shred it and all after it gets done. So I'm just giving it a quick trim. So we just put a little salt on the chicken and now we're gonna put one cup of this sweet chili sauce. I just have the Great Value brand. How many ounces is this, 13? You know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna put this whole bottle on there. It's not gonna hurt anything. Now we're gonna put just a little bit of chicken broth around the outside. And that's it for the chicken part. This is gonna cook on low for five hours. real quick to go ahead and start the rice for supper. The chicken just has a little over 30 minutes left. So we're gonna bring this water to a bowl. I put in four cups of water. We have this basmati rice. So I'm gonna bring this to a bowl, then we'll add in two cups of the rice. Okay, this is boiling. We're gonna turn it down to simmer. Put in the rice and cover it. Okay y'all, so while the rice is cooking and we're gonna go ahead and get all the other stuff ready, we need mangoes. I'm gonna use a regular mango and one of the honey mangoes, some carrots, cabbage, and we're also gonna make some guacamole. For that, we need an avocado. I'm only gonna make a little bit of guacamole because pretty much only me and Titus like that, so I'm just gonna make a little. So, I started to shred this in the KitchenAid, but this is so tender. I mean, it's just, it's very easy just to quickly do it with the fork. Would you like to try? Oh, I'll try. Look. Let me try, everybody. A little Tom Sawyer move there. There we go. Right and let's here. tell them. Number one, that honey mango is good. That but we also need good. to remind y'all about those strawberry dumplings last night. The strawberry dumplings was good, too. Y'all. I promise you. Stay tuned in right here. We'll keep you some good food coming. If it ain't good, we'll tell you. <laughs> Don't do that junk. We've had that happen a few times. What? Bad stuff. Bad, bad. A few times. Not too many. One thing we can tell them, and Listen, we... Let me, let me tell you. I'm having flashbacks right now. This is just going to be a bad dream right now. When we first started, right before I got to be a professional it's the, chef... the cranberry sauce. Is that what we're going with? Nope. Okay, Whew. thought it was the cranberry this is sauce back story again. I got to be a professional chef. Now I, I look back on that now, and I'm like, Dad, is how did you ever do that? You know what? You live and learn. Now I'm a pro. You know, I'm sitting here right now with two forks. What was the nightmare? What was the chicken. nightmare recipe? Well, we was out there doing that deal several years ago, and I had this bright idea to break up these pecans and put in something. And I just loaded this dish down with pecans. You're gonna have to like, remind me about this one, y'all. This this one has, maybe it was so bad I chose to forget. I cast it into the sea of forgetfulness. You sure did. I, I don't know what it was, baby. I mean, like I said, it's before I got to be a professional chef. Yeah. I would never do that. Now, I'd put one pecan on it. I don't know, y'all. You do dumb stuff in life. Yeah, like vacuum sealing broccoli. That right. was dumb. That was never do that. That was awful, y'all. All right, everybody. We're ready to go. First, 
we put in the rice. We're gonna take a little bit of the sweet chili sauce and just drizzle over the top of the rice. Now we put the chicken. A little more sweet chili sauce there. Cabbage and carrots. The mango and guacamole. We sprinkle a little cilantro over the top. Squeeze a little bit of lime juice. And that's it. Good? That's really good. Get your bowl that set on your back porch. That'll make you happy. Okay, y'all, we're about to head out to go and see if we can find some okra and marigolds and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and start supper in the slow cooker. Cilantro lime chicken tacos. So I'm just gonna trim up this chicken and put it in the slow cooker. I'm only gonna use about three pounds of chicken because uh, Jacob and Tyler are wanting to go to the rodeo tonight. So they won't be here for supper. So we're just gonna go with about three pounds, two and a half to three pounds of chicken. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is put a packet of taco seasoning all over the chicken. But if you don't have a pack of taco seasoning, you can make your own and that's what I'm doing right now. I've made it so many times, I can just kind of, you know, eyeball and know how much of what I need to put in here. But I'll put the recipe down below for y'all. And I'm gonna put in a few red pepper flakes too. Next we need one jar of salsa. This was a really big jar. So I'm just putting the rest of this in here. And the juice of two limes. I did buy some limes, but y'all, they are so dry. <laughs> There's like no juice in them at all. So we're just using some lime juice here and some cilantro. That's it, we're gonna cover it. It's cooking on low for six hours or you can do it on high for four. Okay y'all, I'm about to go ahead and start the refried beans. So this is just the refried beans and one can of green chilies in here. I'm gonna go put this on the black stone so it can heat up out there and we're gonna warm the tortilla shells. It's a little chilly, but we heard fireworks, so we're coming out here to see if we can see them. Watch, that was probably their last one. Oh, did y'all hear that? We can't see them, though. We can imagine. We can, let's imagine. Ooh, what color? That was red. Red? That's pretty. Oh, it sounded like it was right over here, like, you know, where we would be able to see them, but yeah. It's behind all those trees. Our neighbors stopped and gave us some uh, more trees. More trees. And his heart overfilled yes, with I'm joy. Happy about that. I really like planting them trees. I like all different types of trees. I, I really like the. Uh, well, we're going to have something people can come and look at. Well, that's right. I'm going to plant all kinds of them. <laughs> Y'all want to come see my tree farm? <laughs> I love the mountains. I love the leaves during the, during the spring and the fall, especially fall. I just love all different kind of trees, really. I like the cypress trees. We like them all. 
I think they're finished shooting the fireworks now. We can't be imagining anymore unless we want to imagine the look and the sound, you know. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Okay y'all, for the last recipe, we're making barbecue pineapple chicken sliders. So we're starting with putting the chicken in the slow cooker. Once again, this is Memorial Day weekend and Jacob and Tyler weren't gonna be here again. So I'm not making as much chicken as I normally would, but we got the chicken in the slow cooker. I sprayed it with some cooking spray. And now we're just gonna put some seasoning on there. I'm gonna use this cherry rub, but you can use whatever your favorite, you know, barbecue chicken rub is. So once we get that on there, we're just gonna pour some pineapple juice in. Now my original plan was to grill some pineapple slices because if Jacob and Tyler were gonna be here, we were gonna make these chicken sliders and just some like cheeseburger sliders. So we were gonna have the grill going and I was gonna grill some pineapple slices to put on here. But since we didn't do that, I left that off. That would be really good, y'all. So now I'm making the slaw. This is just some broccoli slaw. And I've shown y'all this recipe a lot of times, but I'll leave it in the description box for you. Have a little surprise. If you've made it this far into the video, we're giving away one of these slow cookers. So if you wanna enter to win, all you have to do is comment slow cooker down below. It can just be in your comment somewhere, or you can just put slow cooker. <laughs> forward four hours later we're gonna take the chicken out remove all the liquid and then put the chicken back in and shred it now we're just gonna add some barbecue sauce you can use any flavor you want to but the sweet and smoky flavor goes really good with the pineapple chicken and the pineapple juice didn't make the chicken too sweet at all it was like it was just right it made it taste just summery enough <laughs> So that's it for this one. I just put the lid on so that would stay warm while I got the rolls ready. And we just put the broccoli slaw on the barbecue sandwiches. It was so good, y'all. 